privateers it's the captain of the seven seas skull and we are back with another video sadly 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 destiny update dropped a patch update 2.5.0.2 i call it the apocalypse patch because i just read over it i had to i had to take a break i had to sit down from recording anything and just kind of think on life because a pretty much a class is the subclass is now dead guys like let's go ahead and jump into it all right so we're gonna start the changes in the crucible the link for the patch article will be in the in the, in the description as well for you guys want to go check it and read it for yourself just kind of you know further look into it they adjusted special ammo economy in all game types Players now start crucible matches with special ammo. It's not too bad. Special ammo is now lost upon death, though. So if you start the game with like seven shots in your sniper, someone offs you from across the map, you got zero shots in your sniper now. So you're gonna be careful. You're gonna lose your ammo. Sidearms are not effective. So welcome to the sidearm meta, my guardians. Welcome to the sidearm meta. Better get a what's it called? Something teacup? Tempest teacup? Whatever it's called. Special ammo crates now appear every 60 seconds. Alright, so the, the initial spawn is going to be like a minute, and then every minute it's going to come back. Special ammo crates are shared with allies within 75 meters. So now you have to be within 75 meters of your teammates who just popped a special ammo crate. It went down from 100 meters. They're just wrecking everything, aren't they? Special ammo timing in Mayhem is unchanged. So they didn't change it in Mayhem. It's, it's, they're not they're not that's I guess that's too much mayhem for them I don't understand I don't understand how that's not enough but all right for the elimination game types the round time limit has been reduced to 90 seconds that's a lot that's down from two minutes that's down from two minutes that's, what? <laughs> There's a dog barking outside. I'm sorry, Guardians. Players only start with special ammo for round one in elimination game types. The special ammo timing, there's 30 seconds in, and then fall after that first 30 second interval for spawns. For special ammo, it's going to switch to 45 seconds. And special ammo is wiped at the beginning of subsequent rounds. So the first round, you get it, and then the next round, it's gone. So you, you, you start with, you, you don't start with, you got to go grab it again. My thoughts on it overall, uh, nothing too serious. The crucible changes aren't too. It's not the end of the world, but what's coming up next is gonna it's gonna have you guys rolling. It's it's, it's just gonna have heads rolling. But so far, crucible changes aren't too bad. Let's start off with weapons. We're gonna kick it off with hand cannons first. They have been significantly increased. Their initial accuracy has been increased pretty much from year one launch like day one hand cannons they reduced the base range to 35 meters from 40 meters so they already got a range a range nerf they reduced the aim assist and magnetism along the ranges so they reduced the aiming and you know when you're looking down the scope and you're moving from target to target it kind of snaps one person and it takes it takes a second to drag off to move away from that person they reduced that so you're, you, you'll, you'll be dancing a bit more and they re reduced the minimum damage after fall off from 50% to 33%. So a bit of a bit of a damage boost. And then that initial shot, the first shot has some dead some deadly accuracy. So Hawk Moon, first curse, last word, hand cannons are coming back. So get ready to see people with from last word, first curse, and a, a, a sidearm. That's the meta right now. Auto rifles have increased precision damage to 1.3 percent well 1.3 times from 1.25 increased base damage to low rate of fire auto rifles by two and a half percent so the low rate of fire high impact just got a boost increase in air accuracy all right so auto rifles they're, they're, they're trying to bring them back they're trying to bring them back to the grid because let's face it who uses an, a really decent auto rifle that isn't like the high rate of fire the ones that melt you in like two seconds Pulse rifles. <sighs> Here it comes, guys. Reduce the rate of fire for very high rate of fire pulse rifles by 7.7%. The Grass of Malik and the Clever Dragon are dead. They're gone now, guys. I'm sorry. 
increased rate of fire for low rate of fire pulse rifles by 5.3 percent so your low rate of fire pulse rifles now just got buffed high rate of fire just got nerfed and they reduced the mag size of our clever dragon and grasp of malik by six from 24 to 18 that is so sad it's just it's brutal it's brutal guys God forbid you put a brace frame on it because it lowers it even more. You're going to be walking around with a hand cannon instead of a pulse rifle. And they reduce the effect of high caliber rounds for pulse rifles. Do, do you not want us to use this like class of weapons? Like I don't know. <laughs> Increase in air accuracy. Scout rifles, they haven't been touched. The only thing they got was increased in air accuracy. So I guess I'll be running Mida Multi-Tool for, for a while. See how that goes, chaos dogma, you know, whatever, whatever have you. Shotguns. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this Guardians. Shotguns no longer deal precision damage. Damn, that's messed up, man. The chaperone and universal remote are unaffected though. So if you have the chaperone or universal remote, you're not affected by that. Especially the chaperone because it fires a slug and not a, a pellet spread. And the universal remote only deals pre precision damage to aim down the sights now. Shotguns now have significantly less magnetism when fired from the hip. Like I said, with hand cannons, when you're lo lock on from a target and move from another target, there's a bit of a drag because it's still like Mac. Uh, Mac. It's still kind of stuck to the first person. They reduce that. Shotguns now have significantly less in-air accuracy. So for those who begin jump shot at the Steph Curry or something, just just. That that that's not gonna work. They're gonna have to really aim down the side to get that hit. They can't just uh, hip fire in the air now. It's not gonna be easy. Shotguns no longer have a movement penalty. I'm not sure that's a nerf. That sounds more like a buff to me, guys. I'm not sure. And then across the board, shotguns now deal 20% more damage to combatants. I guess if I just kind of say, hey, if you still want to even use it, here's a bit of a damage buff. Because let's face it, we just kind of nerf it into the dirt. Range finder on shotguns now increases ADS time by 25%. So this is going to take longer for you to aim down the sights if you have range finder equipped. On your rolls, your god rolls. Reduced universal remotes magazine size from to 3 from 5. So <laughs> universal only has 3 in a mag now. And it takes longer to reload the universal remote. So universal remote just got nerfed heavily. Pretty, pretty sad. For the exotics, okay, we got a bit of exotics. The Young Wolf's Howl, the exotic sword you get from the Anna Rise Iron campaign from completing it and becoming an Iron Lord. They reduce the cost of Howling Flames, the little down slash, from 10 to 5. So now, the Young Wolf's Howl, I guess, to just put it back up there with, an exotic, with the other exotic swords. So now the Young Wolf's Howl is a pretty decent exotic sword now. Truth, they reduce the mag size from 3 to 1 on missile. Uh, I'm not gonna really say I like it because I've been I've been hit by truth too many times in PvP, so I'm not gonna cry about it. Weapons get nerfed every day, B. <laughs> that should be a T-shirt. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Weapons get nerfed every day, B. Try not to cry about it. Here comes the worst of the worst classes. Now they have general nerfs and buffs, and then they split it up in the parts. Let's go over general first. They reduce the health of guardians with armor values over 10. So if you have armor that's over a value of 10, your health is now lowered. I don't know why. <sighs> Whatever. Increased damage of flux grenade, magnetic grenade, and shoulder charge to ensure effectiveness across all values. <sighs> Titan's gonna destroy us. It's over, guys. <laughs> Blink. Oh my god. This. This is, this is not good, guys. Oh wow. Blink now disables your radar and HUD for a short time. So what? When you blink, when you blink here, there, everywhere, whatever direction you want to blink in, your radar and HUD will be disabled for a moment. I'm not sure how long. I'm probably going to go play around and test with that in the moment. But when you blink, you're going to be running without a HUD for a second. You're going to be just, that's going to be disorienting. I don't even really use blink, but I see a lot of uh, World Axe Hunters use blink. My per I mean, since I don't use it, I'm not worried about it, but they're not going to have a fun time. Starting off with Hunter Exchanges. The Throwing Knife now deals solar damage on impact. That's what everybody was wanting. Honestly, I was confused why I didn't do that. 
Hungering Blade immediately starts health regen and restores more health per kill and it gives a flat amount of health and shield per activation but it doesn't immediately start regenerating shields it bleeds into your shields like I said in the last video I did for Destiny it has got a hell of a lot more squishy and I don't like that at all the Blade Dancer's quick draw perk no longer readies your weapons instantly, but now grants a large increase to weapon handling speed. So Blade Dancer's dead. The Arc Blade is dead. They nerfed the Arc Blade, they nerfed Blink, and now your quick draw perk, it's now even the perk, it's just increased weapon handling. That's so Arc Blade is now gone, guys. So I can't wait for everybody to make rest in peace memes. I already started a, a, a hashtag on my personal Twitter. Uh, follow Captain Scully 7C, uh, 7S. <laughs> Hashtag um, RIP Blade Dancer. It's gonna be hilarious. For the Warlock, the Viper, <laughs> the Viper Totemic and Ophidian Aspect no longer readies your weapon instantly, but grants a large increase with handling speed. So, the thing, the hand gauntlets with the perk that we hunters used to have have now been nerfed too. So I guess we're not alone. At least that makes me feel better a little bit. Storm collar, thunder strike, melee range reduced to be consistent with other world. Yes, thank you. They reduced thunder strike. That shit used to fly across the map, hit me in my chest, and hit my other friend too. God damn, that was annoying. <sighs> Amplitude will continue to grant small range boosts to new base range. Oh, all right, doesn't really hurt too bad. And landfall now reduces the total time in storm trams. I'd rather use ionic blink. That that's way more effective to get around things. The Titan, the Juggernaut Shield, is now disabled after being in the air for a short time. It cannot be activated while in midair. Oh, thank God. I'm tired of seeing that in trials. Now they have some general changes, too. Outbreak Prime is no no longer triggers the corruption spreads by shooting at Ward of Dawn. Oh, I never really saw people and seen people use that. Huh. Well, I guess it must have been a big deal for them to do something about it. Shinobu's Vow no longer adds an additional secret to script grenades. Oh, well, Shinobu's Vow just got nerfed. Removed intrinsic perks, knee pads, and Icarus on some town grids, so whatever has that, that just got nerfed. Say goodbye to those fusion rifles. Fixed an issue where high caliber rounds are not functioning properly on hand cannons, scout rifles, machine guns, sniper rifles. Okay, so other, other weapons are getting buffed. The last word might actually be a threat again. Might. The Hungry Blade changes were also applied to the following perks. Okay, so like I like I read like we said I guess I said earlier guys, the thing they did to Hungry Blade where you get your health but your shields don't immediately regen it bleeds into your shields over time. That nerf has also been applied to Transfusion, Cauterize, Life Steal, Red Death, Suros Legacy, No Backup Plans, War of Dawn, The Ram. Apotheosis Veil and Embrace the Void. So everybody got hit by that. Everything got hit by that little thing. Say goodbye to your health. Oh man. I, I, gotta, I gotta put the phone down. I can't even look at this article, man. Look, look here, man. Look here, man. I I don't even know if I want to play a hunter anymore. That, that was the first class I liked. I'm probably gonna have to go to Night Stalker now. I don't even like Night Stalker like that. When your day is long.